guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly, this is She Reads, and today I have a book tag video for you. So I was watching Peter Likes Books, who is my all-time favorite booktuber, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. I'm subscribed to all of his channels. Go definitely go check him out, love him so much. And he did this uh, tag, who originally, it was originally created by The Book Jazz, but every time that I tried to go over to their video, I could not find it. Um, Peter had it linked and it wouldn't work from his link so then I just kind of googled the tag and I tried from several other booktubers who had done the tag as well. They've all linked it and the video must be taken down or I'm not sure if maybe they don't have a channel any longer but this was from last summer so I'm not too sure but um, yeah so I couldn't find the original tag video but in any case this tag is the reading habits book tag and I just kind of thought it was kind of interesting and I would love to for you guys to get to know a little bit more about me and my reading habits so I'm just gonna get right into it so question number one do you have a certain place at home for reading um yes I typically read in bed um, I have a 11 month old son and so I typically do my reading when he's either napping or in bed for the night, usually when he's in bed for the night and I'm done clean, doing all my cleaning and everything, getting everything ready for the next day. I will take some time to myself before bed and read. In our room we have a beautiful king size bed and it's one of those ones that like adjusts so it's so comfortable. I just get it all like I adjust it to where I'm almost kind of sitting and propped up and I get like my candle going and I get like the lighting perfectly and it's just like so nice and relaxing and that's typically where I do my reading. Sometimes if I'm really tired it does make me sleepy but um, when you're reading laying down but I typically read only in bed. Question number two, bookmark or a random piece of paper? Um, definitely bookmark if I have one near me, which I typically do. I used to be a dog ear person. So I know a lot of people will come for me for that. <laughs> I don't do that any longer, but I used to just dog ear my books and I didn't really care. I would never dog ear someone else's books or books that I was um, borrowing from the library, but my own, I had no problem doing that. But a couple of years ago, I got a really, really cute bookmark for Christmas. So I started using that. And now ever since then, I've been a bookmark girl. Question number three, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain amount of pages? I typically try to stop after a chapter. Um, if I've been reading for a long time, I'm getting really tired and I have a whole bunch of pages left to go before the end of the chapter, then sometimes I will stop at the end of a page. Um, but that's pretty rare. I usually will only stop after a chapter. Number five, multitasking, music or TV while reading. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> like I have to have it completely silent. Like even just the slightest noise will distract me. And I'm like that when I sleep too, it has to be like really quiet or I'll have like white noise on in the background, like a ringing sound, but I can't, like I wake up at the drop of a hat and it's the same thing with reading. It just, everything distracts me, everything bothers me when I'm reading. So it has to be completely silent. I've never understood people that like read while they have earbuds in. I don't, I don't know how you can do that. If you can do that, great, awesome for you. Like that probably makes it a lot easier to read. You can probably read out in public, but I can't, like just cannot do it. Question number six, one book at a time or several at once? I do only one book at a time. I tend to get plots really confused and I'll like swap stories. So as I'm reading, I will confuse myself if I do more than one book at a time. I very recently have started listening to audiobooks. I had never ever done it before. Um, but since starting booktube, I've started, of course, to want to up my reading a little bit. So of course, whenever I'm driving around or whenever I'm taking my son for a walk, I've been starting to listen to an audiobook. And I noticed that when I had started, I had picked just like a novel and it was interfering with the book that I was physically reading. So what I started doing was listening to like self-help books almost. Like I'm, I'm listening to this one right now about forming better habits and that I find to be a lot better. Um, I can listen to a book like that and it won't interfere with the novel that I'm reading. So I guess if I'm going nonfiction against fiction, then I can kind of distinguish between the two better. But typically I will only be reading one book at a time. Reading at home or everywhere. 
I kind of answered this already, but yeah, only at home really. I'm not the type of person that can really read on the go because I do have to have it quiet. So unless I am listening to an audiobook, that'd be the only time that I can do that. But even then I get really distracted. So if something is going on or, you know, whatever, like I just can't, yeah, I get really, really distracted. Reading out loud or silently in your head. I read silently in my head. I don't know a lot of people that read out loud unless you're reading to your children or something like that or when you're in class. But yeah, no, I definitely read in silent in my head. Question number nine, do you read ahead or even skip pages? No, I don't do that. And sometimes that kind of annoys myself about myself. I kind of get annoyed at myself when I don't skip pages sometimes because sometimes there can be a lot of information in a book that maybe is too dry or it's just like kind of boring and you just kind of like in your head you're like I want to skip this paragraph and just move on but I just I cannot I have to read every last every last word but even then sometimes it doesn't even make sense that I'm doing that because a lot of times when information is too dry I'm just reading but I'm not really comprehending what I'm reading anyways. So at the end of the day, I might as well have just skipped the page or skipped the paragraph, but I don't. I have to read every word because <laughs> I'm bothered. Question number 10, breaking the spine or keeping it like new? I don't really know. I think I break the spine. I've never really noticed that about myself. That's kind of an interesting question. I think I try to keep the book as new as possible, but if I have to break the spine, like if it's if it's just bound really tightly and I can't really read it properly, then I will, of course, but I, in general, I do try to keep the book as new as possible. Question number 11, do you write in your books? No, never. I know lots of booktubers do that when they're, you know, trying to do reviews, they make notes or whatever, but no, I cannot do that. If I'm trying to do a book review, then I'll have a notebook beside me that I can jot little notes in, but I would never write in a book. Question number 12, who do you tag? Hmm, I would say I am just going to not really tag anybody. I'm very, very new to booktube, so I would say anybody else that is brand new to booktube, if you have, you know, less than 500 subscribers, do this tag and let us know a little bit more about you. It's super fun and I really enjoy doing it. Thanks, thanks you guys so very much for watching my book tag video today and please hit the subscribe button down below if you're interested in hanging out with me next week. I typically do two videos a week every Monday and every Thursday so definitely stop by again if you're interested in hearing more about what I think about books and what I'm reading next. I also do a lot of videos about authorship as I am writing my first novel as well so come back and hang out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!